You didn't have to get rid of your hair. I did, Max, I did. <laughs> so the hair has been such a nightmare. So when I uh, when I first taped, I had like I probably like this length hair, yeah. and then I hadn't heard anything for a month, and was just like, oh whatever, like forget about it. Yeah. Walk into the hairdressers and get a call from my agent. He's like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm walking to the hairdressers. He was like, no, don't, don't get your hair cut. He was like, you've got like a final meeting for Outlander, and I was like, all right, okay. So then after I got the part, we went in and we did some like wig tests and everything. But all of the, for some reason, all the wigs they put on me looks ginger. And obviously like no one else can be ginger other than like Jamie and Brianna. Obviously. Obviously, you know. Uh, and so they were like, oh, we'll just clip in some extensions. But like, cause obviously my hair was short. We had to clip them like everywhere. I love it. So my head was like this big. So like the first episode, my head is like this big. <laughs> And then we like were changing it sort of every episode. It was a whole thing. I have to sit and get it curled for an hour. Then we put it back. Then we put it essentially in. It's, it's a whole thing. But it grows really quickly. So halfway through filming, I was able to use my actual hair. And by the end, it was like this long. Um, and I, I was so sick of it because also they'd had to like layer it for the yeah. extension. So I had like a, a bob and then <laughs> a long bit here. It was so bad. So as soon as we finished, I was like, as long as I can grow it back for whatever, yeah. whenever we might need it, I'll uh, I'll just chop it off. And I feel okay. like a new and Having to let them mess with your hair. I mean, come on. I know. I know. <laughs> and everyone else, everyone else is in wigs, so they can look amazing outside of set. And I'm the only one with this like long but hair. What is coming before we have that final season? What can you tell me? Oh, God. I mean, it's just so epic. It's like, there's a new thing happening every time. There's not like time to think. There's people are being pulled apart. There's there's war and death and love and tears. I think everyone has an existential crisis at some point. There's, I think this part one is very dramatic, but part two is like just so dramatic. There's so, I obviously can't talk about it, but just you can. You like, can. I feel like, I feel like you, no, I'm not. I, listen, Me, open I'm I'm not going to be the Tom Holland of Outlander. I can't. I can't. That's a really good person to be, though, because have you noticed, Joey, they never get rid of him? Well, that is true. That is true. Maybe if I start leaking little bits, maybe I'll be the next Tom Holland. Be a little tease, a little bit here, a little bit there. Okay, yeah, so... I mean, yeah, I, I, there's, some, uh, there's some exciting moments for my character um, and some... Yeah, uh, the, I think the fans are going to be holding their breath for a lot of the season. Yeah. You don't you don't get any time to really relax. Okay. Yeah. Got it. I'm taking that all in. Um...